Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. You have created five packages. You want to call all of them in a one package. Which task can you use to call all of them? So let's get back to the, our SSDT or bits and see what options we have. Let's create one SSIS package and we are going to call this package a parent package. If you see in the list or we can call this one master package because that's going to call other packages. Now I have created a master package and in the list or in the solution you see all those different type of packages I have created. If I want to call any five of them or even all of them, so how I can call them? I will be using execute package task. So I will bring the execute package task here. There are two ways uh, you can call your packages or there, there, there would be two strategies uh, how you want to call those packages uh, inside master package. You want, either want to call them in a sequence. So what does that mean? You want to call them one after one. So you have to connect uh, these uh, uh, tasks with each other. So the flow is going to be from top and then go all the way bottom. If uh, you want to call them in parallel, you can also do that. To call them in parallel you do not need to connect them and you do not need to put them in parallel like this uh, let me just make it this small so you don't really have to make them in parallel like this uh, like they will be shown as a parallel they will be running in parallel even they're here or there as long as they are not connected with each other so which package will run first uh, that you can't really decide uh, uh, in this case when they're running in parallel so any 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 of uh, them can start you know and once they are finished uh, the next one start so how many of them can run in parallel that's another question so to see that how many can run in parallel we have to see the package properties so if I go to package properties so you see here it's called max concurrent property and we need to find it so right now it is the max concurrent executable is minus one what does that mean it means the number of number of processes what we have on the on the machine and plus two that many uh, executable it can run in parallel let's say my machine has four processors so it, it means uh, six of them can run in parallel if I have more than six uh, what will happen so, so first uh, six any of six will start running and once uh, any will complete the next one will start so le le let's uh, just uh, go ahead and see how we can configure it uh, here if you click on execute package task it's going to give you two options so you can call your SSIS packages from SQL server if you have stored them in SQL server or if you have stored on the file system you can call from them so th to answer this question let me go back so how we can call them we need uh, to use uh, execute to package tasks uh, to call all these uh, SSIS packages and we can always call them in parallel or we can call them in sequence uh, by connecting them or if we do not connect them then they will be running in parallel just uh, one more time the number of uh, packages uh, or executables uh, that will run in parallel that depend upon the max concurrent property of uh, SSIS package in which we are calling the packages thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video